I've been surfing for the last 20 years. I started when I was 13. It was through the surf that I discovered photography and I started to be more passionate about it. Since I picked up my father's camera and I went to the beach and photographed my colleagues surfing. I started to work with some magazines in Portugal, surf magazines. And now, 20 years later, I'm shooting fashion, which I didn't plan. In this shoot, I'm bringing a little bit of the beach into the studio and do this surreal thing of filling up the studio with sand, uh, making it look like the beach just invaded my studio. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna use some natural light from the windows, and then uh, we are going to set up the flashlights inside. I'm not sure if you're using some soft light or hard light. We are shooting an um, 8 to 12 page editorial in L magazine. Higher there and then higher again next to the window so that it's like flowing. Today we have in the studio one and a half tons of sand so we can do this uh, surreal environment where the sand came in the studio. We're gonna have a boat. It's a small boat, an optimist with a, with a sail. And we're also gonna have two Irish wolfhounds in the studio, which are very big dogs to accentuate that uh, surreal environment. So that's, that's our set. Oh, nice. We're gonna have like a very, very beautiful model. And I think it's gonna be a really nice shoot. Today we are working with uh, Paulo Gomes, which is uh, one of the best fashion stylists in Portugal. He works with Elle and other magazines too. On makeup, we're going to have uh, Antonio Rosa, which is one of the best makeup artists in, in Portugal. Let's see the hair. So I was thinking a kind of Romy Schneider in holidays in Central Bay. The hair stylist will be Miguel Viana, which is our number one in Portugal. He works with everybody, from Vogue to Elle to Massima. So we'll have a really, really top of the line team here today. Or she's like standing on the corner of the boat. Exactly. More relaxed and then we do something here or you know. So it's really important that you and the stylist, you get in tune, really focused on the same goals and the same things so that the entire team gets that positive energy from both of you. It's really important that you work with the best available equipment, the right gear that gives you the results that the client is expecting especially with magazines, because when you see a picture printed, it's really, really important that you have a really good camera to produce the best possible result. I'm going to use my IQ140, which is perfect for this kind of shooting. For a fashion shoot, we need a speedy camera, highest quality and, you know, the right format. The last weeks we have had a few meetings about what's going to happen. We have to shoot swimming suits for the, this uh, story. This has been a close teamwork between me and Paul Gomes in preparing everything and setting up all the details and all the ideas that we had for this shoot. And I saw this picture. Mm -hmm. The sand this in the is house the, yeah, can be okay. like this. And I think it's cool when the light comes from one, uh, from from one, one side. Yeah, yeah. Usually it just tells me his ideas. You can show me like one picture for, that sets up the mood of the shoot, but uh, that's it. So I am free to create my own idea around this idea for the, for the mood of the shooting. I want to shoot this girl and she's never available, but this time maybe it's possible we have that girl. Her name is Hada. She, she has a lot of experience. Oh, she's nice. and In she's the model, nice. what I value the most is expression. It's her being able to express the kind of feeling that we want to transmit through the pictures. 